Okay, on to map five. I've started a new file for this one because this has to be played a bit differently from everything else. So this is a collection of mini games. Uh, a non thingy always makes these really elaborate, scripted uh, things for these community projects. Uh, the levels that you select depend on the difficulty that you select at the start. Although the maps I made are platformers, so remember to jump and create and use free Luke. Uh, if you play this in ultra violence, it's a bonus campaign that does something else. Uh, so I'm going to play a couple of these uh, different campaigns. Uh, color-coded white, blue, yellow, uh, a non-thingy explained all this to me uh, off-screen. So, uh, we're just going to find the entrance to the map here. Oh, put your access loop for the white area, okay. Here we go. Oh, thanks. Just a uh, stomp on the head to start off with, with one health. Okay. Um, that looks a lot like the white area. And here we go. What's, what's around the corner? Oh, interesting. Not useful, but interesting. Uh, shall we start with the left? Oh, I've just remembered about the time limit at the time. Try and jump through the ruins to find a small piece of yourself. It looks like a white orb. Oh, do I only have... I, I've only got one hit throughout all this. <laughs> and, uh... When you die, the map ends. All right. Um, that wasn't incredibly satisfying. Let's uh, try that again. Uh, here we go, round here, and then there, 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 not there. Okay, thank you very much. And here we go. All right. Uh, shall we try somewhere else? No. Let's get let's uh, get that one out of the way, and we'll see what happens. <sighs> it's uh. My mother told me there'd be days like this. This isn't the right save file. What am I doing? Um, can I quick load? Yeah, there I can. Okay, thank you. Brief guest appearance uh, from another level, uh, which I'm going to play in the future. I originally recorded this level on Ultra... What is happening here? I'm going backwards. Um, I originally played this level on Ultraviolence and didn't understand it at all. Uh, so I'm re-recording this. Uh, the same morning it's going to go up, if I ever actually make any progress in it. <sighs> it's it's not just me being uh, incompetent and fumbling my fingers all over the keyboard. Uh, there's there's some uh, drift here. I'm I'm going slightly uh, towards the front of the map all the time. Oh dear. I, I hope this is the intended way it's supposed to be played. Oh, I didn't even hit it. That's another two, okay. 34, 33. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm just being dragged backwards if I let go of everything. It seems to only happen on the uh, sand areas. Now, is that just a pit or will that... Uh... Yeah, that uh, takes me to the end of the map as well. <clears throat> this map really uh, gets annoyed with you trying to play it. Okay, now I'll go this way. All right. Oh, yeah, this way. Okay. Was that enemy count zero before I entered here? Thankfully, that will allow me into the tombs, but I'll need to look around for how to get into the pyramid. Don't much fancy going into the tombs either. It's a nice uh, Egyptian-themed uh, environment as well. I wish I had the chance to admire it a bit more. All right. Got the red key or the red puddings. I, 
I don't understand why I'm being pulled in every which direction. We've got strong winds, very localized here in uh, Egypt. I see the hex and two textures as well. Whoa! Jesus! Okay, we're going to have some surprise winds on the platforms as well. <clears throat> I was going to say that uh, I'm uh, reminded of how Hexen 2 forgot where it was set in the middle of the <laughs> Egyptian section because it, it caused the uh, environment Thysis, uh, but about halfway through it forgets to call it Thysis and it starts calling it Egypt instead. Understandably. What's in this box? <clears throat> Was it just four shotgun shells? Well, that's... That's valid as well. I've said before that uh, I have a habit of uh, over-rewarding the player in secrets, because you think a secret's got to be rewarded with something big, but it doesn't. You can just put a bit of shotgun shells or health in there, and it makes the level far less unbalanced. Or far more balanced, I should possibly say. <laughs> I think I think this would be challenging enough without the high winds pushing you. I'm not really feeling the uh, random nature of it here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I'm okay. All right, no winds. Where was it? Oh, there it was. All right, now, where's that, uh... Ah! Sorry. Where's that lock? Uh, how do I get up there? Ah, is there another way round? Is this this? I don't. I feel like that can't be a fake route. Okay, maybe it is. Ow! You know, I've, I've uh, mentioned before that I'm slightly heavier than I should ideally be, but that, that's just because of being Scottish. Um, but I've always been proud that uh, despite that, my blood pressure has always been in a perfectly good space. Uh, I'd like to thank you for sorting that out for me. Oh, maybe if I walk. <laughs> I forgot all his run was on. This reminds me of uh, the Prince of Persia 2006 game as well. Um, because I, like many people, I was annoyed by uh, how it always rescues you if you fall. And uh, there's no punishment. Uh, if you fall off a jump, then you're always rescued by, I've forgotten her name, the ghost girl you're with. Um... And I expressed that in some form or other, and someone asked me back, how is that different from having a game over and just pressing reload? And I said, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and that is the only time someone has successfully changed someone's opinion on the internet. Oh, I like the pinpricks of light here. There's a piece of me! All right. If you want another piece of me... Let's go into the second teleporter. Stargazer Sentiment. I mean, all these environments are really elaborately set up, and there's so much to this uh, level. It's not really a level, it's a challenge hub unto itself. And uh, I, I think it, they just get skipped over in a community project like this. Alright, somebody's heard this pit. 
a lot of souls as well, which kill me instantly. I like those hexagonal windows. Haven't found the pits yet. That allows me to get into the gravity bending corridor. Let's take advantage of the damaged panels. Um, am I supposed to be doing anything here? Damaged panels? I damaged the panel. Not there, is it? Oh, hang on. Gravity does uh, take a bit of a jump there. Ugh, can't by the side with a lost soul. What did that open? Where is that? Whoa, okay, that was close. Can I just jump? Yes, I can, okay. On the uh, pattern tiles. Oh, for God's sake! No, that's the wrong way, okay. Where was that other one? There we go. All right, last one. Oh, well, we've got so little time. Oh, maybe they'll just jump out of the level instead. Oh, okay, here we go. We've got uh, two and a half minutes. Let's make this one quick. Yep, yeah, that's quick enough. God's sake, the... Um uh, the the instant lost soul death is is just a huge detriment to the level. When when you the challenge is really just jumping. You you don't need more than that. If they uh, set you back a bit instead of killing you, uh, which uh, I'm sure your scripting skill can handle, then uh, that might be a better solution. Oh, I've, I've saved myself into a bit of a corner. maybe quick load a bit further back. That one will do. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's exactly the same one. Oh. That was near there. There we go. First time. Oh. You can't, you can't jump across to that. Yeah, I suppose I might, I might have hit my head on the ceiling. Whoops. Oh, that was handy. Where are they? You've got two minutes left. Richard O'Brien needs to get his harmonic out. Oh, I see it. I heard it. It was right next to me, but I, I can't see it. Mm. 
just below one and a half minutes. Oh, how do I get over here? Is it through... This, this is not it. I'll never make it over the... Yes, I did, okay. Skull. Yes. Oh, this is very Tomb Raider-y. Uh, I've been here. Oh, where now? I was allowed over here. Does that also let me go there? But where, where does that get me? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Nothing there. I do want to complete this, because I've, uh, I've, I think I've done pretty well so far. There, there, up there. I, I, I can't get there, can I? No. My instincts were correct. Ah, this is this is high enough. No, it isn't. There's something up here. There is. There is nothing up here. Where do I go? Right, peaking time. Uh, the red skull is there. Uh, that is where I landed. That's tag 104. Is there something in the script? Floor of release, exam, body block, uh, Ted door 104. So tag 104 is, is there. Or is it? What's, what's the ceiling move to value do? Tag speed height? No, that's just height 104. Uh, I also didn't know that uh, you could use uh, yes and no as constants. That's uh, good to know. So what opens 104? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, door open 104 happens when you examine a body? Guessing that's a script on a thing? It wasn't. There's a body. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Are there any actions on the lines just here? Yes, there it is. Okay, let's go. Oh, you can see the switch as well. Uh. Two bandits keys got, but but that opens the door. You can't get the key. But oh, never mind. Um, let's see. What's the best save for me now? Sixty-eight. Yeah, that'll do. There's the body, and we are going round and up, and we've got very little time to get through this again. There's the red key. 38 seconds to get back with the crystal. Oh, that was ra rather more efficient than the rest of the map. Is there a lost soul in here? I knew there would be. And that is the proper end to the map. Okay. Um, yeah, you can definitely see that there could be a bit more clarity on what to do, where to go, what's happening. Uh, I really think that these massive scripted minigames uh, deserve to stand alone and have a proper introduction and everything and not the confines you have in a in a community project, because I think they'd be much better suited to shine there. Nevertheless, uh, a non thingy's skill with scripts and minigames is uh, always very apparent. There's much more to this map than I uh, showed in this video. Uh, so you'll have to play Berman Doom for yourself to uncover all of its secrets.